This is amazing Folagondros. And that is Sykinos. That is Eos. And that is Santorini. Casas, Calispera. Good afternoon, how's it going? This is amazing Folagondros. My third day on the island. Yesterday, I started my video straight up ahead there at that watchtower and then bicycled that direction through the uh, main town of Caravostasi there, or the port town rather. And then from there, bicycled up to the main town of Hora in the interior of the island with spectacular views and hiked up to the Panagia church. Today I'm going the opposite direction and this will be more about the beaches. Out there, nice little beach. On the other side, another nice little beach. So I will show the various beaches as I head towards what is supposed to be the best beach on the island and which involves a hike. So that should be fun, especially to do a hike and then get to the Mediterranean Sea or the Aegean if you prefer and jump in it and cool off. So I'm looking forward to the bike ride, the hike, the swim, the beaches and whatever else we see along the way. Here we go. Folagandros. So there's a nice little beach down there that I went to on my first day. Another nice looking beach up ahead, a little bigger. Pardon the squeaky brakes on my bike here, but uh... The beach that I'm going to is Catergo, right there. But, let's take a a little bit closer look at this one really quick. Just show the beach. It is very, very close to the port town. So if you don't want to do a longer drive or bike ride or whatever, and a hike, then this is a good spot to come to. Oh yeah. That water is looking good. Okay, now will this road go through? Let's see. And here you have Camping Levati. When I came to Greece in 2009, I had a tent. And I camped at a lot of campgrounds on the islands, which is a great way to go and save some money, meet people. Come on, gears. There we go. And have a natural type of experience rather than being inside 
enclosed rooms. I love camping. Haven't done much of it in a little while. Oh man, look at this hill. Oh my god. I am just going to push it from here. Made it to the top. As I was pushing my bike up the hill, I was thinking, this had better go through so that I don't have to go up this hill again somewhere else. Unfortunately, we have a gate. Ay, 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 ay. So I was like debating whether to come here, just go, you know, follow the sign. And I looked on Google Maps and it showed it going through. And so I was counting on that. Now we have a, a dirt road here, but then that is just going in a total gamble of a direction, especially when the other road is out there wrapping around there, because we need to get up and over this hill, and then from a point there, there will be a trailhead, and then start the hike. So it looks like I'm just going to uh, enjoy the downhill ride and then start over. Got some views at least. More Greek churches. There, up there. So if you saw my videos of Kithnos Island, I talked about the rock walls and how they looked very different there. And if you saw those videos, you can see what I mean probably. Totally different style of both rock and the construction of them. Hey dude! Which of course depends on the rock you have to work with, but uh, also these just look a lot newer to me than what I was seeing on Kithnos. I'm sure there are varying ages, of course, but uh, you know, that right up ahead looks pretty much brand new as compared to this right here looks older. Well, we're going a long ways away from the sea in order to get to the sea. I'm hoping there's a left turn right up ahead here. Huh. There is not. When do we go that way? I mean, there's a dirt road. Okay. Time to check Google, even though it is not always reliable. So I'm much closer to the trailhead than I thought. We aren't going that way on the road. We're going straight ahead 300 meters up there is the trailhead, and then you will hike, I guess, through there. So uh, things seem to be working out. And then we have a little sort of a village up ahead. Let's take a look at that. And here we go, Katergo. But I want to investigate up here without the bike. It's just too much going up those hills. So not really a village at all, just a couple buildings. And a couple dogs. An arched, I guess, oven. It looks pretty old style there. All right, let's get hiking. I can see the trail there going between two rock walls up and over the hill. 
It looks like a fun hike. It helps that there are some breezes. Catergo. Let's see how long this takes. Going to check the time. So I'm now at the top of the saddle. We should be able to see the beach just over this hill. Well, we can see the sea. So far, not the beach. Whoa. Whoa. Oh yeah. That is amazing. Nice one. You can also get there an easier way by boat. Take a boat trip around the island. Oh man, that looks just perfect. Let's get down there, have some lunch, and then get in that water. Out there? Sykonos. Not sure what that is to the right. That could be more of Sykonos, I guess. Or, no, I think that is Eos. And there, as I showed in my last video, is Santorini. Hard to see, a bit hazed over, and about... 40 kilometers or like 28 miles away, but I can see it clearly right now. Not exactly clearly, but I can see the shape of the island and little white specks of the buildings on the cliffs overlooking the volcanic crater created due to a volcanic eruption in 1600 BC that destroyed the Minoan civilization. Massive, massive historical event. Went all the way to Crete and obliterated much of the civilization there.
and look what's leaving. The boat, along with most of the people. A little more peaceful now. So another boat arrived and it dropped off a bunch more people so decided it was a good time to keep on cruising up the hill. Thank you. 